For the month of March and in celebration of Mess Tomorrow, the Guam Council on the Arts and Humanities Agency is showcasing the craft and talent of the late Robert Philip Santiago Titano, a local traditional master carver of Ifit wood. Caja Executive Director Sandra Flores shared more about the honor and Titano's receiving of Caja's traditional Master's Award in 2011, which was initiated by the National Endowment for the Arts across all states and territories, recognizing each master's level of work, the duration of time they've done their work, and commitment to passing their skill on. It represented a lifetime of him honing his craft of not just carving, but carving ephit wood, which is really a difficult and very specialized skill. And so, of course, he's been recognized for a long time. Um, he's known for really giving back to the community, which is also part of, of the traditional masters um, in training apprentices, going to schools, and just sharing what he does. And so he's really, you know, he really deserved that honor. Um, and with his passing, we just felt a real need to recognize all of the things that he had done artistically. The agency collaborated with Titano's family and those who've housed his art to bring the exhibit together. His pieces are really collectibles and, and people, you know, kind of want to treasure them in their homes and they do. You don't see it out in public that much. But uh, with the family's help, we were able to get loans of some really special pieces. And so that's what you'll see here today. Um, and we're, we're just really proud that the family has trusted us and is working with us to do this for the community. The exhibit features both small and grand creations by Master Carver Titano. You'll see a great sampling of things. And even um, when I'm looking at the Kamzu display, you can see how some of his work has evolved over time from you know, some very simple designs. And then he really uh, elaborated on his version of the Guam seal. And I think that's something that his son is also uh, continuing to evolve in his own artwork. And so the public will be able to see that on not just the Kamzus, the chairs, um, on, on different pieces here. And I, I think it's just important for them to recognize how difficult it is to work on this indigenous uh, wood of our island. It's extremely hard. And I think a lot of carvers would choose something more easy to work with. But uh, yeah, Mr. Titano took this on as his special art and we're so grateful for you know, everything that he created. To include special pieces from an EFIT dining set gifted to President Bill Clinton during his visit to Guam. Subsequently, the different, you know, identical chairs were sold or given away. And so we're really happy to have a couple of those pieces here today. The exhibit will also feature some video footage of Titano. I think you'll see in some of the video that's going to be available at the exhibit uh, where Mr. Titano is, is working on this wood and he ends up being just kind of almost consumed by the sawdust and the wood chips around him because it's just taking so much time and effort and just to little by little uh, work the EFIT wood. Kaha is designated as a state art agency there to promote the arts and artists of their area. I know that on Guam we have a special mandate and because we have traditional arts that, uh, that we share with the Marianas that we don't have anywhere else. And so we really, um, we really are honored and uh, privileged and also uh, feel the weight of that job um, to perpetuate our, our very special arts. Flores would like exhibit viewers to recognize the time and expertise that had gone into each piece. This is a living tradition. And so like Master Titano would want, um, he's continued to teach it. We want to inspire younger artists to, to shoot for that excellence in whatever form uh, appeals to them. And um, to just remember to, to just keep carrying on those traditions. And I'm just really proud that Kaha is able to um, put these traditional artists forward. Um, and, and we hope to just continue to do that more and more. Exhibit curator Mark Duenas said the goal is simplicity so that each viewer can see each piece in its essence from a clear angle and recount memories across generations of Guam. That's what we want to engage with the community is to come in and enjoy the 
the, remember, the remembrance of the late Robert Titano and share that story so they can appreciate, appreciate what this master did for our community. And, and that's what we, that's one of the many programs that we have in our Kaha, opportunities that uh, folks who want to become masters, this is one of the programs we can offer them. Be sure to view the Kaha Gallery on the second floor of the DNA building in Hagatnya. We open daily, eight, uh, 9 to 4, and we close on weekends and holidays. And this, is, this show is going to be going on until March 31st. For Buenas, I'm Alana Chargolov of Fison.